Okay, let's see how we can have two figures um, exactly next to each other and also um, add captions and subcaptions. So, first of all, I will use a package called GraphicX. Then I begin my document and after that I begin a figure. Um, I would like to have my figures to be centered, so I add centering, and after that I begin a sub figure. Um, remember that you have to end whatever you begin in Nautic. Okay, so I began a sub figure, then I ended it, and then in between, let's see what we can have. So, here I would like my sub figure to be, okay, let's say 0.3 of the text width, and after that, I would like to include some graphics into my sub figure. So here is where you introduce LaTeX, um, the photo that you want to include. Uh, let me see, so the scale, yeah, let's forget about this. Let's say I would like have the width to be text width, which means that it will be um, the size of the sub figure block that you've made so 0.3 of the whole text width and after that okay my photo is got photo.jpg um, what i can have here is that before i uh, finish my sub figure i can add caption caption Mm -hmm. The first pick. But whenever you use this, you have to use another package, which is sub caption, because you are using captions in sub figures. So you have to use sub caption package. Okay, uh, now let's see what we have done. So I make a PDF for my LaTeX and then we will take a look at this. So the caption is written here. You can see that only one sub figure has been made here. So this will be the whole figure. Um, however, we have only added one sub figure. It has automatically given the name A and also you can see that the width is 0.3 of the text width. Um, okay, as it has been given a name, um, which is A, let me label this so that in future I can call this and refer to this. So, subfigure, um, let me say photo will be a good name. Um, but before referring to this, let me add another subfigure here. So, I would like this one to be bigger, 0.6 of the text width, I would like a photo it is landscape, which is called landscape. The caption, um, the landscape photo. And uh, yeah, for labeling, I would like to say landscape. Okay, so are we done here? So we have ended the sub figure, figure, we have started another one here, and let's see what happens. So, as you can see here, we have the first sub figure, then the second one. Um, both captions are written here the first pick, the landscape photo, 
whatever you want to call it. Um, however, the whole figure itself can have a caption as well. So this is uh, the caption of the whole figure. And also, I can give this a label. So this will be figure, let's say, two pics. And then I will make a PDF. So figure one has been made here. This is the caption of the whole figure and also both subcaptions are written here. I can easily refer to any of these in future. Okay, um, what is interesting here, as I said, is that I can refer to any of these um, figures. So, um, let's say, for instance, um, subfigure, let's say, refer to, okay, I would like to refer to this one, is nice. Um, then, let me go to the next line, I can also refer to the whole figure, which is two pigs. So two pigs is the name uh, which I have given to the whole figure. So I will make a PDF from my logic and you can see it here. So for example, subfigure 1B, so this is figure 1 and then B, is nice. I can also refer to the whole figure 1. And this is very interesting and uh, really useful.